Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of ordering rational numbers. Specifically, we'll be looking at percents and decimals and fractions, including improper fractions, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So you might get a problem that looks something like this. You've got a list of numbers, 37%, 3 eighths, negative 3 and 7 tenths, negative 28 sixths. And you need to put this in order from, oh, let's just pick least to greatest. Well, if you ever need to do anything like that, you need to make them all the same type of number. So I always suggest seeing if you can get them all to decimal. Because uh, if we needed to get them to all to percent to, in order to uh, put them in greatest to least or least to greatest, you're going to have to get through decimal anyways. And changing them to fraction is troublesome because you have to get them to be the same denominator so you can adequately compare them. So let's get them all to decimal. And what we're going to do is we're going to use part of our board just for a workspace. But here, let's just go ahead and do a little number line here. right? So we've got some negative numbers. So I'm just going to put 0 right there. And uh, we've got the negative 3 7 sets already decimal. So let's start with 37%. So we just need to remember all the various ways that we can change numbers into percents. So if we're changing a decimal or a percent into a decimal, remember we find the decimal point. If it's not there, it's always after the ones place. And then we move it two times to the left. So that's how you change from a percent to a decimal. You go one, two. Number 100% is one whole, right? So 37% is going to be... 0 0.37 or 37 hundredths. So that's pretty easy. Uh, so that's going to be obviously in the positive. So it's going to be these two that are going to be kind of difficult right here. So 3 eighths. You got two different options here. You might uh, already know how to easily change this into a uh, decimal. If not, you can always divide up. Right? Divide your denominator and your numerator. But you're going to have to divide several times here. There is a slightly easier way. I'll show you that in a second. So it's going to be 3. It's 24. It's 60, right? Extra 0. It's 7. 56. Still not there yet. Extra 0. And there we go. 0 0.375. Now, if you remember, you can always turn fractions into decimals of 10, 100, 1,000 to make it super easy. And the 8s, the 8s actually can go into 1,000 if you multiply by 125. It's just a little trick to remember. Anytime you get a fraction that has a denominator of 8, just multiply top and bottom by 125, and you're going to get 375 over 1,000, because 8 times 125 makes 1,000. And guess what you get? 375 thousandths. So really, the, the only one we've got left is this uh, negative 28 6, right? So we've got two positives right here, so we can go ahead and just put super, super close. I'm going to make this the 0 0.37 or the 37%. Right next to it, just a little hair past it, it's going to be a 3 8 or 0 0.375. But I don't know where to put the negatives yet until I get this negative 28 6. So I'm just going to divide my 6 into my 28. All right, so it's going to be an improper fraction. That's fine. That's going to go 4. Let's bring this right here. And so 6 goes into 40 almost 8 times. It's going to be 7 times. Or actually, that's going to be 6 times. So let's make that 36. It looks like 40. It looks like we're doing that again and again and again. So it looks like it's going to be 4 sixths, 4.6. But you notice we did it again and again and again. So we need to put that repeating bar right there. So it's going to be negative 4.6 repeating. So now I can plot everything here. So I'm going to put, remember, the negatives, the bigger the number is negative, the farther away it is from 0. So I'm going to put my negative 4.6 repeating out here, and then somewhere right around here, maybe I'll do my negative 3 sevenths. And that's how we order numbers from least to greatest that are rational.